In a world full of places that are so different, so special, there's one place that is way more different than anywhere else. Truly, madly, deeply unique. Really? Yeah, let me tell you why. Well, on this planet of ours, there's one spot and one spot alone that's the closest point to the sun. That's Chimborazo Volcano, over 20,000 feet above sea level. It's best to wear sunblock. Like all of the, wait for it, 34 peaks of the Andes Avenue of volcanoes. Like Cotopaxi, the world's highest active volcano. Or Cayambe, the only snow-capped peak slap bang on the equator. Here you can horseback ride, paraglide, climb, kayak, bike, raft, or even trek for days while seeking out South America's only bear who looks nothing like Paddington. Down on the coast, just 135 miles as the crow condor flies from Chimborazo, the winds and currents combine to create the perfect swells for surfing, dude. And if you tend to fall off your board a lot, <laughs> then no worries, the waters are warm all year round. Perfect for snorkeling or scuba diving. Just follow the whale's example. They come here every year from the Antarctic to uh, <clears throat> have babies. Over in the Amazon, you have to set your alarm early. Yep, it has to be done. To climb a canopy tower to catch the sunrise over the world's largest river basin. Spot over 500 species of birds before paddling through creeks in a wooden canoe led by guides who share their wisdom and the lessons of their Pachamama, their Mother Earth, who can teach us all a thing or two about wellness. On volcanic islands 600 miles out in the Pacific, 100-year-old giant Galapagos tortoises, youngsters still by their standards, lumber and wallow while Darwin's finches flit around. Only experts and liars can identify all 14 species. And families of sea lions on the beach invite you to swim out to dive amid turtles, sharks and manta rays. This is why Ecuador, only the size of Colorado, is so captivating. This is why it's, yes, truly unique. This is why Ecuador isn't just a bucket list destination. It's the world's bucket list in one country, where adventures in nature are second nature.